Lord, I pray that you would open the hearts of each one of us and that you would bless my lips as each person receives your word as it's intended for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For several weeks now, the gospel reading has been in Mark. And now, today, uh, we start in the Gospel of John, and this will continue for the next five weeks. The two miracles described in the Gospel reading today, the first is the feeding of the 5,000, and the second is Jesus walking on water, are followed by five others before his crucifixion. The miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 is the foundation of Jesus calls these miracles signs because they have deep meaning. The miracle reveals God's love for each one of us and the necessity for each of us to love as well, to love our neighbour. It's about our dependence on God. It's about the interdependence of love and obedience. It's about bearing fruit and depending on him. In this sense, the meaning of this single miracle sums up the gospel of Christ. Jesus was tired after a long period of ministry in and around Galilee. He and his disciples had walked for miles and they had ministered to growing numbers of people. It had been physically and emotionally draining and they needed to regenerate their energy. So they got into a boat and crossed the lake for some peace. But the crowd was desperate for Jesus. They walked for 15 kilometers around the northern rim of the Sea of Galilee to reach him. They followed him because, we read, they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. But that wasn't the reason that Jesus was looking for. He wanted them to follow him for the same reason that he wants us to follow him today, to have life and to live it to the full. In feeding 5,000 people, Jesus demonstrated his compassion and his divine authority. When he looked up and saw a large crowd approaching, he knew that they would be hungry after their journey. He turned to his disciple Philip and asked him where to buy bread, knowing how little money they had. Andrew found a boy with five barley loaves and two fish. Jesus blessed the food, then distributed, and everyone ate till they were satisfied, with twelve baskets of leftovers collected. This clearly signifies the abundance of God's blessing for all of us. The reference to the manna from heaven is a reference to Exodus chapter 16. And the feeding of the 5,000 echoes that biblical account of the manna that God provided to the people of Israel in the desert. God provided nourishing food daily to the Israelites, just as God supplies others as well. Jesus offers a miraculous meal, revealing his role as a true provider. This connection emphasized God's ongoing provision, and it foreshadows Jesus as the spiritual bread of life, fulfilling the deep spiritual hunger that is in humans. The use of barley loaves was significant too, because barley was considered to be food for the poor. This highlights the humility of Jesus and his identification with the marginalized. The small quantity of food, it amounted to a lunch lunch for a boy, also underscores the theme of divine abundance, despite seemingly inadequate resources. By multiplying these loaves, Jesus illustrates that God can use the humble and the small to achieve great things. It also reminds us that whatever we give to God, he multiplies and supplies the needs of others. The phrase, as much as they wanted, emphasizes the generosity of Jesus' provision. After everyone had eaten, they were not only satisfied, but had their fill. This is God's abundant grace. It reflects the nature of God's kingdom, where spiritual and physical needs are met abundantly. It also reminds us that in Christ, believers find more than they could ever need. What does this mean for believers in Jesus today? The feeding of the 5,000 serves as a profound reminder of Jesus' compassion and ability to to meet both our physical and spiritual needs. It encourages faith in his provision, urging us to bring our limited resources to him. 
The miracle shows that once again, shows once again that in Christ there is always enough. Enough grace, enough love, enough sustenance for all of life's challenges. It calls us and all Christians to trust in Jesus as the source of all things and the source of all blessings, as he loves each one of us. Amen. <laughs>